Okay, we are now in the Versailles Palace and uh, this is the Versailles Gardens. What you're seeing here is just one section of the gardens and over there is the Fountain of Neptune and I'm going to just circle it, circle it around and you will see how massive this is because I'm looking at this from atop another garden and there's Glenda. Hi Glenda! This is just another garden up at up here and then the garden just goes on. So it is so massive um, we uh, decided to come to the garden first. The palace line is very long and after we finish the gardens we'll go to Marie Antoinette's uh, little village that she had and I think Philip's, Prince Philip's castle or housing and then to the palace. As you can see Beautiful, very serene fountain here. It's a little fountain show here. It's just awesome. It's beautiful. This Glenda. Smile. So now we are at the kind of a center of the gardens. It's a, I'll take a 360 view because it looks really amazing. We were on the two wings earlier. The one side had the fountains, the other side had Neptune's fountain. Uh, and this center view is magnificent. It's just amazing. Louis XIV's creation. And there's Glenda. Okay, now we are by the main fountain and you see Glenda over there trying to take the pictures from different parts and you see a uh, bird flying out just on cue as I start shooting this video and way down you see uh, the garden, the view is amazing uh, by the famous horses and there's a show here every uh, noon time every day or certain days of the week. So hopefully we'll be able to capture that as well. I'm going to go around the main fountain so we can see a view nicely from here as well. The gardens. We're down now by the fountain. It's beautiful view. So this is another angle from the uh, front of the statue, of the fountain. And you can see the water going up. Every 10 minutes or so it comes up rising and then it goes down. It's a beautiful view. Pure gold statues surrounding the main statues. It's amazing. And I believe Louis XIV uh, built this around 1660s when he moved his uh, basically main operations in his palace from uh, Paris to Versailles and uh, created this amazing garden so I'm now walking down toward the famous horses statue and behind me is the main fountain So this is a, you can see the gardens, many different walkways, Glenda is here, just took a statue and this is another pathway, I'm going to take a full 360 around here, we were down by the fountain there before. Right? The original the sculpture was made by this sculptor who lived from Marseille around 1690. Okay, we have reached the base of the main garden, the famous horse statue. 
I'll do a 360 view here. Just amazing view. And the weather feels so cool and nice in this hot summer. And there's Glenda. Hi, Glenda. You can see back over there by the golden fountain. I'm going to take a closer look here and get really close by the fountain. And you see some swan and there these swans are very famous and this for generations living here and it's more than 400 years old amazing statue of the horses it's amazing so we are at the king's garden and we can see the mirror pool water show going on every 10 minutes they have a fountain show there Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. So lovely. From the King's Garden, we're heading toward the Mirror Pool. And the temperature, so natural when you come in the shades, it's like about 10 degree cooler, uh, just with the natural formation of this I mean naturally the garden was arranged So this is the uh, Saturn's fountain and as you can see more and more crowd are coming in the morning it was a little more peaceful because most of them were in the palace and a lot of school children come here from Paris on visit uh, but we're in the uh, we just came from the mirror pool water show and we're by the uh, Saturn's fountain see these walkways it's beautiful and very cool walking through here it keeps in june summer it's it's a uh, nice and cool walking through these um, groves and these walkways in the garden that's uh, saturn's fountain <laughs> 